Hey, it's Maggie. So I have an ambitious project that I want to try for Christmas. I want to make a bread box. So I got some pallets next door. I cut them down. I ran through the planer. When I ran through the planer, they're like this really pretty wood. I don't know if it's oak or what, but I thought this would be really pretty. I will need to cut them down and make panels. Before I do that, I've already planed all the pallet wood. I know these seem like short pallet woods, but that's because I'm lazy. I cut down and just throw out the center pieces, you know. So I'm going to cut these all down on my table saw to try to make them more straight lines down the sides. So I'm going to do that now. I have a whole basket of pallet wood that I'm going to do that with. I mean... Do you want to watch me use the table saw? Mm, does it sound exciting? Spoiler alert, the table saw is loud and it cuts in straight lines. So let me go do that and I'll be back. Okay? For you it'll be a split second. For me it's probably going to be about half hour, 45 minutes by the time I cut this all down and then clean up my mess. So see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm back from cutting down all the wood and making it kind of straight edges. Look at the difference in this wood. This wood is pretty and it's dark. This one's light. And like they were different with everything. So my thought is I'm going to take these wider, darker boards and make the sides of the bread box. And then I'm going to take these blonder ones and actually glue them this way so the grain's going up and down for the door, the top, you know what I mean? So we got to glue these all up. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start with these blonde ones. And the big thing is it's got to be the length this way of a loaf of bread. So, thinking that's about the length of a loaf of bread, right? And I'm more making panels that I can cut down and I can make the actual size that I want. You know what I mean? So, now I'm trying to make the crappy sides be on that side because that's the uneven side. This side I'm trying to make the straight side. So, see like this side's got a knot in it, so I'm going to put this over here. And then that side's got a knot in it, so I'm going to put it over there. And then I like this, it's got some purple in it. You see the purple? I like that. Or not, we'll use it. Who knows? Kind of want to put it down here. It's pretty. Thanks. It's pretty. So I realize this is a way bigger panel than we need, but my thought is I can literally cut it down to the exact size if I want two of them out of it, one of them out of it, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to glue this all up together. Hopefully this works.
over this over here. So by doing this, we should be able to have the pressure on the top and the bottom to hold it flat, right? Okay. So we got this panel drying. I'm going to glue up a couple more panels and we'll let them dry and then we'll circle back to this. Okay. Hi, editor Maggie here. Realized that because it took me so long to finish this video, I had hurt my arm in the middle of it, the holidays, everything else, like the middle section is just missing out of this video. You know, the parts where, you know, silly, just cut the wood up into the correct measurements and shapes. And I glued it all together and, you know, that important stuff, silly me, it's all gone. So what I did do, and please don't come too at me with it, my first time trying to do shapes and stuff on the computer, but I did a um, insert that I'll insert right after this of my cut list and what, and what size I made everything, and then I glued it. It's, I mean, it's pretty simple, but yeah, so, and then you don't get to see why I decided to paint it because I don't think that's, oh, shh, that's coming next. So, anywho, I really did cut the wood. I didn't, like, hire it out to some Lowe's or something. So, now, back to the video. Okay, I'm back. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the bread box. I'm not going to make you watch me paint and for paint dry. But what I am going to do is to let you know, I'm going to be using the same paint that I used on my kitchen cabinets. So it'll match the kitchen. I, hadn't, I couldn't decide between the gray of the floor, the brown of the cabinets. But I think the brown of the cabinets is what I'm going to go for. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute with Painted Bread Box. Be back. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I want to take on this door. So this is the door. We got it all painted. I want to, like, put in pretty writing bread and like put some squiggly on it and I'm going to freehand it. So let's see how this goes. Okay. What do you think? It says bread. So the next thing is going to be attaching the hinges and hopefully knowing how to do this. I guess that bee looks kind of wonky, doesn't it? But I'm going to attach the hinges up there so that we can just go like that. And then I'll put a knob right there. So hold on while I find where I put the hinges because I'm not sure I remember where I put them. It'll be just a minute. Okay, so I found the hinges. I'm terrible at putting on hinges, but I'm thinking right there and right there. And I don't remember which screw actually goes with them. So I got a couple different sizes. So I'm going to screw. But got to do is you got to mark where your holes are going to be. Okay. 
takes see this is like hard and you're like it's not hard you're just putting on goddamn hinges to realize that then like right there okay hopefully that works and then i should pre-drill the holes can you see the holes maybe Let's see can you see the holes well can you see the spots i made for the holes and then They're little itty bitty tiny screws, so I'm kind of concerned. Kind of concerned this isn't going to go well. That I need to like pre-drill the holes. I don't even think I have a drill bit small enough to pre-drill these teeny tiny little holes. So I'm going to try just with the screw. See, and I don't. <laughs> that screwdriver is too big. I got this little head. Will this work? Uh, I don't think so because it doesn't actually lock in place. Let's see. Okay, I think you've seen I think you've seen me screw holes before. I'll be back. Yikes. I don't know what I'm doing here with this camera. I, you, forgive me y'all. But anywho, I'm gonna put a hole right here for the handle. So we're gonna pick about the center. That looks about right for a center. Here we go. Okay, see, and I used a scrap piece of walnut on here for a handle. Now I'm going to spray it, and then I'll take some pretty shots in the house once I got it all done. Okay? Okay, bye.